All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Potato Head Theater. Today's story is found in 1 Samuel chapter 16. The story begins as the prophet Samuel has a big problem. Hey, everybody, I'm Samuel. Saul, the current king of Israel, has sinned against God. I don't like God. I sin against him. You fool. He's no longer following God's path for his life. Samuel is troubled by this, and he's not sure what to do. God speaks clearly to Samuel. God, what should I do? What should I do? God said, go to Bethlehem and find a man named Jesse. Samuel, go to Bethlehem and find a man named Jesse. Ooh, Jesse? Yeah, isn't that a girl's name? Uh, I'll fight. He said also that he has chosen one of his sons to be king. I have chosen one of your sons to be the next king. Ooh, that's very exciting. Let's go find him. Samuel hears this and does not hesitate. He immediately sets out for the town of Bethlehem. To Bethlehem I go, on the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. When he arrives at the house of the man named Jesse, Samuel tells Jesse to go and get his sons, for God has chosen one of them to be the next king of Israel. Samuel, my name's Samuel. Jesse, Jesse, I need you to go. Get all of your sons. God has chosen something special for them. Can you imagine how Jesse must have felt knowing that his one of his sons would be the next king of the entire country of Israel? This is amazing! I'll tell you how I feel that I am beaming with pride! So Jesse did just as the prophet had asked him to do. Before you know it, seven sons stood before the prophet. Many of them were tall, handsome, and not really scrappy looking. Look at my beautiful, luscious locks. I know I'm good enough to be something special. Yeah, I'm definitely not scruffy looking. I could totally be someone special. I am as beautiful as the king. You just can't see it under my mask. They certainly looked like what a future king might look like. Samuel, however, was not convinced. He didn't feel like God was telling him that any of these young men were supposed to be the next king. Samuel, none of these are the king. What? They all look so handsome and strong and powerful. He asked Jesse, are all these all the sons you have? Jesse, surely these are not all of your sons. Well, I do have seven of them. It, I guess if none of these are good enough, I'll go get my last son. We don't really talk about him. He's out, he's out in the pasture. He's watching over the sheep. Jesse had answered that he is the youngest, and he is out taking care of the sheep. Samuel said, bring him to me. That sounds awesome. Go get him. You, go get him. What? Dad needs me back at the house? See you later, Arlene, Marlene, and Charlene. Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> Jesse had son- sent for his youngest son to come and stand before the prophet Samuel. His youngest son's name was David. <laughs> I'm here. I came as soon as I could. What you need, Jesse? <gasps> Is that Samuel? Samuel! <laughs> David arrived and stood before the prophet. God clearly spoke to Samuel saying, this is the one. Anoint him with oil. Samuel, this is the one. Anoint his head with oil. The reason God told Samuel to do this was that this was a custom back then. The oil represented God's spirit. When they anointed people, it was to show honor. It was to show that they were set apart for God. So Samuel poured the oil over the head of David Samuel showed every one of David's brothers and his father that God had chosen to honor and bless him this day. Okay, David, stand up. Yes. I'm going to anoint you with oil. Oh, this is awesome. Thank you for this enormous honor and blessing. This is why David wrote the words, you anoint my head with oil in the Psalm 23, five. You know, This kind of makes me want to write a song. 
All right, guys, thank you for joining us on another episode of Potato Head Theater. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Yeah, next time. <laughs>